Hi again, Mark here from TalkingBass.net. Recently I released a lesson on minor pentatonic runs. It was fairly successful and I got asked about doing a lesson on major pentatonic runs. So that's what we'll be looking at today. Remember the lesson material is available to download over at TalkingBass.net. Just follow the link in the info below. And also remember to check out all the other lessons on the lesson map which are all categorised for ease of navigation. Then you can also subscribe for free to gain access to the members area where you can download the ebooks like the scale reference guide, check out the practice room and chat to other members in the forum. So uh, go check it out. Okay, so the major pentatonic scale is another five note scale just like the minor pentatonic, but this one is more like the major scale. So let's look at a simple common fingering for it and then I'll show you another less common fingering that might help with applying it a little easier. So let's try a major pentatonic scale starting on a C root note. So this is a C major pentatonic. And we'll begin with a C third fret of the A string there. And that's with the second finger or middle finger. So C, then we have D fifth fret of the A string with the fourth finger or pinky. Then we move on to the D string and we play E and G. So that's second fret and fifth fret with first finger and fourth finger. Then we finally move up onto the G string and play the A 2nd fret and then C 5th fret and that's with the 1st finger and 4th finger or index finger pinky, okay? So we have C, D, E, G, A, C. A string 3rd fret 5th fret, D string 2nd fret 5th fret and G string 2nd fret 5th fret. So you just want to try that scale up and down until you've got that under your fingers. And remember, this is all transcribed in the lesson material that you can download from TalkingBass.net. Now let's just have a look at a standard major scale and compare that with the major pentatonic. So a C major scale would look like this. So most of you will know a C major scale. So we have C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Third fret, fifth fret, A string. Second fret, third fret, fifth fret, D string. and 2nd fret, 4th fret, 5th fret, G string. So that's the major scale, so now let's look at the major pentatonic. So you can see there it's almost exactly the same pattern, it's just that we're missing two notes. So we miss out the 4th and the 7th, okay, so we're missing out the F and the B on the C major scale. So if we look through that C major scale again, and we number the notes, 1, 2, 3, 4, that F there, we take that out, 5, 6, 7, the B there, we take that out too. So again, the major pentatonic scale is simply a major scale, but we miss out the 4th and the 7th. So with the major pentatonic scale, we're left with the root note, the 2nd, 3rd, the 5th, and the 6th. And this makes this great for using other basic major triads, because we don't have to worry about that 4th in there that can often clash, and we don't have to worry about that major 7th in there that can make things a little bit too bittersweet. So the major pentatonic is basically a stripped down, ready to rock version of the major scale. So let's have a look at my alternative fingering for this C major pentatonic scale. So we'll begin again at the C third fret of the A string, but this time we're going to start with the first finger or index finger. So then we move to the D fifth fret of the A string, but again we're going to use a different finger, we're going to use the pinky or fourth finger. So we have C, D. Then we move up to the E at the seventh fret of the A string, and so we just use the fourth finger to slide up there. So C, D, E, all on the A string. Before we played the E there at the second fret of the D string, and all we've done is we've just moved it up onto the A string. So we have C, D, E. Then we move up onto the D string and we play the G and the A there, fifth fret and then seventh fret, and that again is with the first finger and the pinky. Okay, so C, D, E, G, A, and then finally we finish off with the C there at the fifth fret of the G string, played with the first finger or index finger. So, all together we have C, D, E on the A string, then G, A, D string, C on the G string. And again, this is all written out there in the lesson material. So, so you just want to play that up and down and get that under your fingers. Okay? 
So the reason that this pattern for the major pentatonic scale works so well in application is because we can easily make use of this slide from the second degree to the third degree of the scale and from the fifth degree to the sixth degree of the scale. So uh, that's a really, really popular move that you'll hear a lot in uh, pop, rock, soul tunes uh, when we're using major pentatonic scales. And uh, you get these kind of lines. Okay, so that kind of line, that's a major pentatonic scale, and it's all stemming from this, that slide there from that second to the third. That would be much, much uh, harder to do using our original pattern. Okay, so this pattern is really worth getting under your fingers because of this application. So now let's just try a couple of different runs using that C major pentatonic scale. And uh, the first run is going to be very similar to the run that I've just played. And it sounds like this. So we begin with the C third fret of the A string. And we have three uh, notes on there. So we have... Okay. Then we have D slide up to the E, fifth fret to the seventh fret on the A string, and that's with the third finger or ring finger. Then we catch the G fifth fret of the uh, of the D string. We play two notes there on that G. And then we play a G hammer on to the A, so 5th fret to the 7th fret on the D string. And then we catch the C up there at the 5th fret of the G string. So, very slowly. Okay, so all in all we have three notes actually on that G on the 5th uh, fret of the D string. And then you just play that round and round until you can get it up to speed. And then it should sound like this. So let's try applying that run by playing a root note of C for four bars. And then we'll put the fill in there on the fourth bar. So this is as if we were playing over a C major chord. Okay. So the comp pattern is going to sound like this. Two, three, four. Okay, so very, very simple comp pan. And then on the fourth bar, we'll put that fill in. And then that brings us back round to come back down onto the C. So I'll play through it twice. So we'll have eight bars in all. And on the fourth bar and the eighth bar, I'll put the fill in, okay? So one, two, three, four. Two. Three. Now, the beauty of these major pentatonic scales is that we can use them over pretty much any major chord. And it just so happens that there are three major triads in a major key. So chords one, four, and five in a major key are all major. So if we're in C major, the key of C major, chords one, four, and five are major. So if we look at chord one, that's a C. All we do is count up through the scale. So chord one, that's C. Then two, three, four, that's an F. And then five is G. So C, F, and G are all major in a major key. So in the key of C major, we have C major, F major, and G major, okay? So that's the theory behind it. So just in case you didn't realize. So we can use that major pentatonic scale over any one of those three chords. So over a C major chord, we can use a C major pentatonic scale. Over the F major chord, we can use an F major pentatonic. And then over the G major chord, we can use a G major pentatonic. So, you know, pretty, pretty simple. And um, 
I say that because it's it's handy to be able to move these scales around like that because some people fall into the trap of uh, if they're in a major key just thinking oh I can only use the C major pentatonic in the key of C and that's not the case at all wherever these major chords are you can use them okay so uh, don't fall into the trap of just using one scale all the time within a key you can move them around so now let's work through a basic chord progression of C F C G. So C major for one bar, F major for one bar, back to C major for one bar, and then G major for one bar. So C, F, C, G. So first of all, let's just play through that, just the root notes with the same comp pattern that we've just played. Okay, so one, two, three, four, C, F, C, G, and then we're back to C. Okay, so that's the chord progression. So just play through that, first of all, just to get it under your fingers. So as I just mentioned, we can use the major pentatonic scale to play over any one of those three chords. So let's take the fill that we've just played over the C major, and let's try applying it to the G chord. Okay, so I'm not going to run through every single note. You can see that in the, in the lesson material. But basically, all you've got to do is take that pattern, and then just take it to start on the G. Okay, so exactly the same pattern, we just move it down a string, okay? So, if we do that, and then work through our chord progression again, let's put that fill in on the final bar over that G, and that'll sound like this. One, two, three, four. F, back to C. So it works great as a fill over that G. And now for good measure, let's just try playing that same fill starting on the F. So this time we move it down two frets. So we start on the F there. Okay, so the same fill. And let's try putting it on the uh, over the F there in our chord progression. So one, two, three, four. C, fill. and I just put it over there on the G there just to show you how we can move it around. So, that major pentatonic fill, you know, major pentatonic scale, we can use it on any one of those three chords in a key. So, you, whenever you see a major chord, you can use that major pentatonic. Now, let's try one more simple fill that starts on the top note of the scale rather than the bottom note. So, the fill's going to sound like this. <laughs> Okay, so once again, we've got the C major pentatonic scale, and we're going to begin at the C fifth fret of the G string, and that's with the first finger or index finger. So, we begin there, then we just come down the scale. So we come down to the A seventh fret of the D string, G fifth fret of the D string, then we come down to the E seventh fret of the A string. So from the top, C, A, G, E. 5th fret, then 7th fret, 5th fret, 7th fret. And then we just come back up. So we come back up to the G, 5th fret of the D string, A, 7th fret of the D string, and back up to the C, 5th fret of the G string. So, easy, easy peasy. Begin up at the C, come down the scale, down to the E, and then back up. And for the fingering of this, I'm starting on the first finger, and I'm pretty much just using the first finger and the ring finger, the third finger. You can use the fourth finger if you want to. It all depends on context. You know, what's just been before, how comfortable you are with that finger. You know, there's no right or wrong way to play this. I'm using the ring finger for this, but you can just as much use the pinky. 
So that's essentially the whole fill, but I am going to add one little slide in there to begin with, just to make it easier to move uh, into that fill from the chord. So uh, what we're going to do is take a slide here from the 5th fret to the 7th fret of the D string, so that's the G to the A, just to slide into that C there. So, so that becomes the whole fill now. So 5th to the 7th fret, G to the A there, and then we're into the fill. Now the reason I've done that is because if we're playing, uh, let's say on a chord of C, it's quite tricky to jump from that C there on the first finger up to that octave to come down. And it's not impossible, you know, it's not that difficult, it's just a bit abrupt. And it's a lot smoother if we can slide in from that G to the A there. Okay, so with the chord it would be two, three, four. Okay, so that's the whole fill now with the chord included. So just as before, let's try playing four bars of the C major chord, just the root note on a standard pedal comp there, and then we'll put the fill in on the fourth bar. So that'll sound like this. One, two, three, four. Two, three. So finally, let's try applying that fill to our C, F, C, G progression. And to demonstrate it, I'll just run round and round on the progression, and I'll put the fill in on the G first time, on the second time I'll put it on the F, and on the third time I'll put it in both, okay? So, one, two, three, four. F, C, both times. Okay? So that's some very basic major pentatonic fills and some examples of how to use them. Next week I'll extend the pattern a little above and below so we can create some longer runs and we'll also put some simple chromatics in there to spice things up. So remember to check out TalkingBass.net, download that lesson material and I'll see you later.